welcome to my playhouse and today I have to admit that I have to change something back that I actually thought that I would be saving a lot of money on because it didn't happen and it's it's thermostats let's just see here behind me I have these thermostats that turn up and down for the heat um, so that in night they turn down the temperature I had this set to oh, what is it set to 21 degrees a day 16 degrees at night so that's a difference of 5 degrees that it should turn up and down the temperature at night and I thought that was gonna save me a lot of money and it probably would I'm pretty sure it has saved a lot of heat but the problem is that I have these kinds of measuring devices that I pay my heat bill based upon. This is a thing that sits on the radiator and it has some oil, oil inside of it and the oil evaporates by the amount of oil that has evaporated during one year. I get a share of the expense that the this apartment building has had on heating. The heating is very cheap here. It's not very expensive. Then normally I paid about $80 a month all year round for heating. But since I changed to these thermostats, I got an extra bill of a thousand dollars over one year and a thousand dollars just because I'm saving on heat it makes no sense at all and what I think the problem is is that when when these thermostats uh, turn down and cool off the radiator there's no problem this one will not count as fast when when that is when the radiator is cold but when the thermostat comes back on again and notice that now we have to go with 21 degrees it turns up the radiator so it's glowing hot and that that heats up this device so much that a lot more oil is evaporated than if the room temperature had just been kept on a on a steady 21 degrees Right now the, the radiator is cold down here and it just heats up up here and yeah this one is pretty but it's it's nothing it's when when I have activated these thermostats and they just turned on the radiator would be so hot that I would not be able to touch it not to save on heat but to save on money I'm exchanging these back again and I will actually be, be using more heat, but I will be paying less money. I have some old thermostats right here that I brought. These are thermostats that I have exchanged at my playhouse for the newer ones. And in my playhouse, uh, the these electronic thermostats is okay. They're, they're good. It's only because the the price is being measured by this device which is not optimal for turning up and down the heat if you have a house where you measure like if the water temperature is measured on the way in and the amount of water that goes through is measured we have that in the basement the entire system is based on that but every apartment has these and we pay after how many how many stripes of this that has gone down so a little a little time ago for some time sometimes back i turned over the thermostats to manual so that they would just hold a steady temperature all the time i could keep that there's really no reason to have a battery driven device doing that and it still 
uh, it, when it decides that oh now now it's too cold it still uh, turns up the radiator too much instead of just turning it a little bit it it turns it up and then it settles down and up and down so I want to go back to these analog ones that is temperature analog control so I'm going to exchange all my thermostats I have five of them here I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to put these on all five places but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and set it on three and I'm just gonna let this run right now because I've had I've had the thermostat off and when it's off it turns on the radiator to maximum so right now the radiator is very hot so I'm hoping that it will turn it down again and here is the next one This thermostat is not gonna fit on there, but luckily I saved the old ones. When I exchanged, it, exchanged the thermostats back in the days, I kept all the old ones because I didn't know if I was gonna need them again. Uh, so there must be an old one that will fit that one. Like this one looks kind of, maybe, maybe it will fit on there. I think I think so. We'll try this one and see if that will fit. And right now this radiator is also fully open and it becomes hot really fast. Yeah, it's already something you don't really want to touch. There's nothing wrong with our heating system, it gets very hot very fast. And I'm gonna turn this down to 3 as well. And up here on the wall, I have a thermometer. And right now it's, it says about 20 and a half degrees. Next one. seems to be the same size as the one we just put on so I'm gonna go find one that will fit that one found this one it's um, kind of white the pipes are already so hot that they are not nice to touch I'm gonna hurry up and turn this down as well. There's some kind of a marker, that's probably a good one. And this one is in the bedroom. Let's see what kind of a fitting that is. I think it's the same one. Uh, yeah. I found this one. It's really ugly. But you know, this is the bedroom. If anyone gets invited in here, it's not to see the thermostat. And I'm gonna turn this down to next to nothing. I don't need it very hot in here. So that's nice. And that's... That's also visible on the on this thing, the meter. Yeah, you can see the red one here, and not 
not very much of the oil has evaporated in here because this is the bedroom and I don't use a lot of heat in here. So this one is really good. That's a cheap one. And this is the guest room. And I'm gonna unplug this one too. I had a problem in here. This this one, uh, you might have seen the video, but it ran dry of batteries some time back and I was on vacation. So when I came back from vacation, uh, it was glowing hot in here. I'm just gonna loosen this. This, not, this one is not doing very well. It's lost some of the things that hold it in place. I hope it's, hope it's gonna be on there anyways. And I'm gonna turn that down really low. Right there. It doesn't seem this that bad down here. It's it's not as if the red line has gone really far down, but I think I lost a couple of lines. Yeah, it's it's two lines down. The only one that is really bad is the one in the kitchen here. That has lost about 10, 11, about 10 lines here. So that is that is gonna cost me a lot of money. That has evaporated that much oil. So I hope that I hope I'm gonna save someone on this one anyway. But yeah, this is not a good day for the environment, but hopefully it's a good day for my wallet. Because a thousand dollars extra in heating, that's almost twice the amount that I paid uh, before. I was, they, they took like 500 kronos every month for heating and at the end of the year I actually, I actually got some of that back when it was really good but lately I've been paying extra like last time it was 4000 extra kronos and they already raised the price by 100 krona each month which is $200 over, over a year um, so yeah, I'm going to be rich again, <laughs> maybe not, but yeah, hope you got something out of this and if you have these devices on your radiators and thermostat problems, uh, have this in mind. If you have any other system, uh, it's probably good if, if it measures the amount of water and the temperature difference and so on, it will be good, it will be great. But this evaporating system is not good for this. I'll get back to you if this is crap too. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and got something out of it. Leave a comment if you have any questions and have a nice day. Bye bye.